okay today we'll discuss about activity 10 uh, alert the teaching staff about the student waiting okay this is the question okay so go to options user profile you have to give the name Rajesh okay after that you could see the question this is the question read the instructions in step 3 C to D identify the IoT components and add the components okay so 3 C to D if motion is detected by motion sensor then turn on the webcam turn on the piece of speaker alert the teacher display your student ID uh, name on the LCD okay then 3d if no motion detected motion sensor by the motion sensor then turn off the webcam turn off the piece of speaker to alert the teacher and display the message good day on the LCD so we need motion sensor we need web camera we need piece of speaker we need LCD okay so if motion is detected by motion sensor that means this is input device motion sensor is input device Remaining web camera, piece of speaker, LCD display, all are output device. Okay. So what should I do? Add these devices first. Okay. Add motion sensor, web camera, piece of speaker, LCD. And you can connect to any pin of MCU. No issue. Okay. We are going to connect, add these device and connect into, connect to MCU. Okay. So connect all the components into MCU by using IoT cable. Write the Python code okay in that import the module then assign input output pin number conditions are given here finally run the program okay so this one i already have made the topology okay so for your namesake i will show you how to add components okay so motion sensor motion sensor i put here contain the name motion sensor okay then we have mcu this one is MCU. Uh, then we have what we had is uh, LCD, LCD device or LCD display device. Okay, LCD capital, make it capital. Okay, uh, then we have what else we had uh, web camera and piece of speaker. Okay, so web camera, web camera, I put here in the name also every device change the default name iot one to like that okay change that to exact device name okay web camera after that piece of speaker so the speaker which produce sound okay so just alert the student is there so teacher will attention will be there okay so the teacher can check whether the student is there or not okay so alerting them may have speaker okay piece of speaker Connect these devices what I will do D0, D1, D2, D3 I am going to connect like this okay first thing this one IoT custom cable this one motion sensor connected to D0 web camera sorry connected to D1 of MCU piece of speaker connected to D2 of MCU LCD connected to D3 of MCU so what are the functions used okay digital read or analog read or custom read or custom write like that okay so motion sensor is input device whenever motion is detected here camera will be turned on piece of speaker will produce the sound lcd will display some message so i'll go to the piece uh, sorry motion sensor first go to specification <coughs> so here the function names are not here so it just mention hi so that means I, I am connecting this to digital so I will use digital read okay if motion detected we are checking digital which one that motion sensor value will be high more no motion means the value will be low okay one or zero or high or low then pi camera or web camera sorry web camera the function used is custom right to turn on the camera either one or high off means zero or low okay piece of speaker it is digital read and digital write okay one means on or high equal to on low or zero equal to off okay lcd you know custom write okay so i already connected now i have a already the answer is there so i have the code i'll just uh, show you that uh, code okay 10 to 1 i will run that uh, activity 
because I already typed the code. Okay, so I will explain the code first. Okay. In the port numbers you can decide. Okay, so based on that you have to run the uh, you have to write the program. Okay, so everywhere check the profile name. Okay, now already connected. Same thing. Okay, it's running. So here see the program. I will copy from here. Okay, I will copy the program. You know that how to take that uh, program part. Okay, so I'll just copy. Control C. Okay. So here I will close this one. Then I will go to our program. Packet tracer. Okay, I'll go here. You know, go to programming. New project. If you want, you can give. Okay, activity ten. Uh, P K T ten. Even if you don't give the name also of the project also no issue. Yes, I'm giving. Go for empty Python, not empty Python. We go for Blink Python. Okay, Blink Python create main dot py. I have the program already, so I will just uh, delete this one. I'll copy paste my program. Okay, I'll explain the program now. First thing, always you know, this is importing the package. GPIO means general purpose input output. So there we have the definitions for digital read, custom read, custom write, digital write like that. Okay, analog read, analog write also. Now from from time import star means from the time package I'm importing sleep and uh, delay. Okay. Inside the definition of main function, we have declared the input output pins. As I told you, motion sensor is the input device. That's why it is connected to zero. Okay, so that one, uh, that's why we are writing pin mode of zero comma in. The remaining uh, web camera connected to first pin, piezo buzzer connected to second pin, LCD connected to third pin, all are outputs. Now while true, okay, I am taking the value. I am storing the value of motion sensor. Okay, I am reading the value of motion sensor. See digital read of zero to pin, and I am storing that into MOT variable. Now, if MOT is detected, how do I check that? If MOT equal to equal to high, again I am repeating why Mr. W equal to because here we are comparing, not assigning value. Here I am comparing the value of MOT equal to equal to high. Then, see whenever I put a colon at the end of if, if any statement is following the if means I have to press enter key. Then the cursor will take you there. You want to type the statement, next statement, whatever statements. Coming under the if, you should enter or type the commands wherever the cursor will take you. Okay, now turn on the piezo buzzer. So digital rate of two comma high because it's connected to two second pin. Now web camera, I use custom write function which I already told you. Open it, we can see custom write. Okay, so custom write of which pin I connected first pin high. Then LCD always you know custom write of which pin three comma ID number. Okay, ID number. And name also given. Okay, so I'll type here say Yusuf. Okay, ID number hyphen name. So one minute, uh, Yusuf. Okay, sleep just for some delay. Now else, if motion sensor is not detected, the else part will come exactly in the same place where if is written. Then put a colon inside the else. If you have so many statements, means put a colon. Then write down the statements. Okay, so whatever we put high. Make it low here. So buzzer will be low. Digital rate of two comma low. Two is a pin number where buzzer connected. Custom rate of one comma low. One is where I connected the camera. Camera will be off now. Custom rate of three comma good day. I am writing the message three uh, message good day on the third pin. Any LCD is connected in third pin. Okay. Now put a sleep also. Now run the program. Clear. Sorry, clear already. The output is clear. Now run. If no motion detector, good day. Is printed now. Piece of speaker, don't make any noise. Okay, then web camera is off. See the light is not turned on. Now I will press the Alt key and I will go near the motion sensor. See the camera is on. Buzzer producing sound and the message say six J one two three use of. Okay, when I keep the mouse away from motion sensor, it will be good day message. Speaker off. Web camera on. Okay, this is the activity. Okay. Hope you understood.